In March of 2023, we saw a secret shoe on the feet of On Athletes, and it was codenamed the Cloud Tri 1. It looked very different from the Cloud Boom Echo 3 we had been seeing prior, and seemed to be a suitable marathon racer, considering that Helen O'Beary won it at Boston that year. So despite not getting any more information about this shoe in 2023, we did see Helen O'Beary win Boston again in 2024 in a new prototype of this shoe, but this time with a seemingly three printed crazy looking upper. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the evolution and the development of the On Cloud Boom Strike from back in the early days of the Cloud Boom Tri 1 to the current day Cloud Boom Strike LS. So let's go ahead and take it back a couple of years to 2022 with stage zero. In the labs of On back in October of 2022, On started playing around with different prototypes using a drop-in midsole, or what they now call the bounce board. It looks like they took the top part of the Cloud Boom Echo 3 midsole and added a decoupled heel. This was the foundation of what would become the Cloud Boom Strike. It wasn't until March of 2023 that we got the first factory produced prototype that was tested out by On Athletes. It was used to validate the new CloudTech design that had a few small CloudTech elements in the heel with four more CloudTech elements that stretched into almost the forefoot. And just a month later, athletes were already racing in a new version of that prototype. This was the Cloud Tri 1, and it looked quite different from the Cloud Boom Echo 3 with a notch in the midsole separating the forefoot and the heel. It also had way fewer CloudTech clouds with just three small clouds in the back of the heel. This was a change from the previous prototypes that had the four additional CloudTech elements more in the midfoot. So with the codename Cloud Tri 1 and we first seeing it on a triathlete, a lot of people thought that this would be a triathlon specific shoe, but then we started seeing it on the feet of marathoners like Tedesi Abraham and Helen O'Beary and we knew that it could be something special. So shortly after the Cloud Tri 1, On was already moving to the next iteration. This used a new upper that is pretty close to the final production version and maintained that same midsole design as the Cloud Tri 1. In late September of 2023, we started to see a new prototype appear. This was a pre-production sample, and it looked quite different from the Cloud Tri 1, and it even looks pretty different from this final version. It removed the separation of the heel, joining it more cohesively throughout the midfoot. Doing so also allowed for the rectangular cloud pods to move forward as well. Instead of being concentrated in the heel, they now started in the heel and then moved into the midfoot. This was definitely a sleek looking shoe and was even manufactured in the prism colorway but we never saw it on the feet of athletes at big races as they seem to either be wearing the Cloud Tri 1 or the next shoe we'll talk about, which is the Cloud Boom Strike Dev. So earlier in this year, March of 2024, we started to see a modified design of the Cloud Tri 1 appear on athletes at big races. And thanks to World Athletics, this was called the Cloud Boom Strike Dev. Dev. So some of the main changes here were a more angular shaped midsole that had three longer cloud tech clouds taking up the length of the heel as well as some tweaks to the upper. We found out that it had a removable sock liner midsole hybrid called the bounce board that was essentially a way to give you as much Helion HF foam as possible. So the Cloud Boom Strike Dev is what ended up becoming released in July, Cloud Boom Strike that I have here. And this shoe definitely looks much closer to those earlier Cloud Try 1 prototypes than it does to the pre production sample from 2023. However, there is another shoe that does resemble the 2023 prototype, and that's what Helen O'Beary won Boston in. So the model she was wearing was called the Cloud Boom Strike LS, and it came in a few different versions. However, all three versions had the same unique laceless high top, seemingly 3D printed upper. We recently learned that this unique upper is their light spray technology, which is where the LS in the name comes from. They take a single strand of filament and spray it directly onto the midsole, 
of the shoe, eliminating the need for glue, stitching, and other typical materials in order to make the shoe super light and sock-like. They've been working on light spray for five years, and you can see various prototypes using the Cloud Boom Echo and Cloud Boom Echo 3 midsoles. So the Cloud Boom Strike LS, very similar to what Obiri War will actually be on sale slash was kind of on sale, um, but it's going to be $330. The midsole looks more like the pre-production Club Boom Strike sample from 2023 than it does the final production version since it has the four cloud tech clouds more centered in the midsole and doesn't have that segmented heel. It also doesn't have the thick sock liner insert that the regular cloud boom strike has. Instead, it's just two pieces of Helion HF foam and a carbon plate. The foam is different as well. It's a version of Helion HF that's made up to 40% bio-based materials. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the development prototypes of the cloud boom strike LS. The other two development shoes looked very similar but definitely have some tweaks in the midsole. V1 looks pretty similar to the version that they released however it only had three cloud tech holes and were positioned more towards the heel. Version 1.2 really changed the looks of the cloud tech elements and made them almost invisible by making them shorter and shallower. A similar midsole design to this was seen in the labs while testing light spray. This appears to be the version that Obiri wore at Boston. So obviously 2024 was a a fun year for on in preparation for the Olympics they dropped some cool innovative stuff from the drop in midsole of the cloud boom strike to the LS upper in that unique manufacturing process so I hope you enjoyed kind of walking through the journey of how this shoe came to be. I always find the development processes very interesting. I do also plan on making a video over the evolution of On's racing shoes and the Cloud Boom series. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep on running.